Lori here for Pizzazz Studios. I want to give you a really quick video that might help a few people out. Um, if you're new to Arches watercolor paper, I want to show you what it's all about. So this is a block and this is an eight by 10 size. The green here, this is the cold pressed. And this one over here, this is hot pressed. So these are both eight by 10 blocks. But I want to show you how to open it. Some people, including myself, when I first got these, I was awfully confused and I got it and I said, well, how the heck do I open it? So um, I will show you real quick in case you need a little assistance with that as I did. So here you have the sides are all sealed. It's sort of like a glue and it's all black. So it's completely enclosed. This side is just the binding, um, but these sides here, are all sealed. So you may look at it and go, well, I can't get into it. How do you open it? Um, so let me show you how I do it. And uh, you can use, I'm gonna use this here. It's kind of like a, a spatula. Or you use like a palette knife. You can even use a butter knife or anything like that. Something kind of smooth that you can slide in here. And what you wanna do is you wanna find the edge here. And if the edges are fine, I typically start here. And um, if you open this, i show you here. When you open this top part, you can open this up and it says right here, it actually tells you remove sheets by inserting a palette knife here. So here, and then you're looking like, okay. So you fold this down, you open it up and you get, this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's all completely glued shut and sealed. So you can't really just take a piece off. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your palette knife, you wanna slide it in between this first black part. This is actually a piece of black paper on the front here. And this is just a protective piece. And inside is your white paper. So if you can get this separated, you wanna separate it and slide your butter knife, your palette knife, your spatula, what do you have? in there, so between the first white page and the black page, and slide it along this edge like this. You wanna go kinda of slow, you don't wanna go too fast, but it's super easy once you know, cause hey, I didn't know either, and I was awfully confused. So you can slide this down through the size of this, and there you have it and now it is open and then you can get to your papers um you can take this completely off this black piece if you want to you can slide it in between another page so you have two white pages here so put it in between these two and do the same thing so each time you want a new piece do the same thing. You can work right here on this block. You don't need to take these off to work on them. That's the beauty of the block. But you can, if you want to, you can tape it down to your table. You can stretch your paper before using it too. But you can do it right here on the block and this way you don't have to stretch it or tape it down. And there you go. So there's a piece right here. Get a little bit of the black stuff. It just comes right off. It's not sticky or anything. You can use this piece um, to put underneath. That's probably the better way to do it. All right, so I just wanted to show you. Uh, like I said, you can work right on the block or take this off and use the pages individually. And there you have it. So I hope this helped you. Please leave a thumbs up or a like for the video. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already for more information and more tutorials. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now.